All right, I'm going to do a little review here. These uh, nice folks from Launch sent me this computer analyzer. And this thing will hook up to the most latest models of vehicles. And uh, it'll do uh, diagnose transmissions. Even the uh, some of the newer ones where the steering has a sensor in it so it tells whether it's centered or off to the left or the right. I guess that's because the car is starting to drive for you now. You know, my work truck. If you get too close to a vehicle in front of you, it'll tap the brakes. It's kind of freaky. As freaky as what it is. Hey, hey, get away from there with that hammer. That boy... Anyways, check engine light came on on my work truck, which is a 2016 Chevy with a Duramax. And uh, diagnosed what it said it was. It was an engine heater or something, preheat, something I can't remember exactly. I don't know why I flashed that code, but I cleared it. It hasn't come on since. Um, I've used it on a 07 Chevy Tahoe. Diagnose the trouble. Yeah, I've used let the mechanic where I work use it on a few transmissions. He used it to diagnose transmission trouble on a 2017 GMC Sierra. So the thing works okay. Um, little disclaimer. You know I mess with old stuff. That is a '96. But everything else is old around here. I do have a couple newer vehicles. And it and it does work on those. I just don't have an opportunity to use it a whole lot. But this thing looks pretty good. I'm going to put it on a discount code. Or put the discount code in the description. So that you all can go to Amazon and buy yourself one. I think it's significantly cheaper than the high dollar ones. And will do many of the same things if not all of the same things. That's the noise it makes when it's doing the VIN scan. I'm going to show you a little bit about this thing once it gets done with that. Yep, it's a 2016 GM Silverado. Alright, we've selected scan. I cranked the truck up. It'll take it a second here. Let me turn the air conditioner off. It's hot out, you know. All right, it says I got some abnormal, although the check engine light ain't on, and something with a parking assist control module. Let's see what that says. If I can mash the button here. Okay, I wasn't doing it right. Lost communication with speaker amplifier module. Body control module and radio. You know, this truck was at the body shop a while back. I bet you they didn't hook up something right. <laughs> I don't really use the parking assist, anyways. I mean, you know what? I got it disabled, I got it turned off. Alright. Let's see what this is. And this is the. Abnormal. It says intake air heater temperature circuit. <laughs> Check engine light is not on. Not sure what that is. This truck has a little work done to it, so it may be that's what's causing it. But let's look at the data stream here and see what it says. I'll bring it back. You back it up to get to this screen. And if you hit the enter, it gives you a clear code section, but you read the data stream, and you pick what you want to look at. Let's just check engine cooling, and see what happens here. Okay, let's check ambient temperature. And cooling fan command. Let's 
see just see what it comes up with. Ambient humidity is 12.55, and the cooling fan isn't running. Makes me wonder. Even grass it out there. Sure feels like it's more humidity than that. Hit unselect. Let's go to there's all kinds of stuff. Misfire data. Let's see what that says. Cylinder one. Cylinder two. Maybe just be easier to select all. Let's hit select all and OK and see what it says. The charge air cooler temp is 122. Cylinder 1 balancing rate, minus 1.13. Cylinder 2, minus 0.41. Zero counts of misfire. It's still loading the others, it appears. Cylinder 5, minus 1.13. Quite frankly, I don't even know what this stuff really means, but... I like the zero counts of misfire. Seems like it's kind of slow loading, don't it? Fuel rail pressure, 4,400 PSI. Exhaust gas temperature, 241. Idling at 639 RPMs. Engine oil pressure sensor, 23. EGR position sensor 100%. percent 86.68% fuel in the tank. I guess if you knew what you're looking at, you'd uh, be able to do something with this stuff. Let me look into a couple other things. You can check steering wheel anglers, angle sensor module. Looks like we're not having any trouble with that. This truck could be a pain if it gets to not doing it right, it looks like to me. But this is a pretty cool little device here. It uh, plugs in, does all kinds of stuff. You can clear codes and whatnot. Um, go check it out. I'll uh, include a code in the description where you can get a discount on it. It appears this thing will be available on Amazon for $191. It's a pretty uptown scanner cheap money. It's a launch scan tool CRP 129X OBD2 scanner. I'll uh, put the link if I can figure out how to do that in the description below. So go check it out. If you've got newer vehicles and they're broke down, which they're apt to do, this might come in pretty handy. But just one time listen to this thing. Comes in a nice carrying case too with instructions. 